Now, ladies and gentlemen, in terms of updating Counter-Strike 2 with new content, Valve has been missing in action. It's now been two days since the last bug fix and will most likely be a few more weeks until we see a three to five gigabyte size update bringing brand new features. Now, with that being said, that doesn't necessarily mean Valve hasn't been working and updating and changing CS2 behind the scenes. Within the last 24 hours, the next CS2 major has now been set in stone, as it was rumored, leaked, and then released that it would be in Shanghai. Yet now the way to qualify for the major is completely different as it was before. On top of all this, there is now hundreds of thousands of dollars banned in skins from Gamba suppliers, which all seems to have been manually done by Valve, alongside a few new trademarks for Valve's upcoming titles. Today's video, I want to break down everything we just discussed, as well as how it's become Valve's new controversy, alongside a bunch more. Now, today's video sponsor is Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a buying, but most notably trading marketplace, that being for your CS2 items. You can trade off your old skins for something new. All you do is log in with Steam, you start a trade, and any cash remaining goes to your available balance on the site. When it comes to trading an item you don't have enough balance for on the site, Skins Monkey is a large variety of deposit options. By using my code Mando, you can get up to a free $5 and by depositing alongside using my code, you get an additional 35% of a deposit bonus. With Skins Monkey's large variety of skins, they also offer daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways. If interested, the link will be in the top of the description down below. Firstly for today's video is the Shanghai Major News. It seems to have now been set in stone. As before, it was rumored, leaked, and then posted by Valve it would happen, but this is now just the extra guarantee and the icing on top. Now, all the information has been posted by CS Perfect World on Twitter. This is the official account. They don't seem to post too much, and this was the first time I saw a post from them as of yesterday. This is the 2024 Shanghai major schedule. Let's start off at the very top of the regional qualifier in Europe. This takes place from August 21st to the 24th. In North and South America, it is August 26th to the 28th. For Asia, it starts in August 21st and ends in August 30th. The RMR schedule and qualification slots. The RMR schedule takes place a little bit before the major, that being November 11th to the 14th. And the final one in Europe for RMR B ends on the 24th. And the schedule for the Shanghai major itself. The major opening begins November 30th, ends December 3rd. The elimination stage starts December 5th and ends on the 8th. The major playoffs and finals start December 12th and end on the 15th. Now, I know a lot of you are probably wondering why and how this is controversial. Well, Jerome on Twitter put out a very good tweet, pretty much summarizing how the community feels. Links to him will be in the description. He said, it seems to be confirmed in official Valve CS Major rulebook that the red equals removed and the green means added. Teams will no longer be directly invited to the RMR depending on previous major results. They will be invited to the RMR only using Valve's ranking at a specific time announced. Open qualifiers are not mandatory anymore, so tournament organizers can open qualifiers if invitations aren't practical. Teams will be invited to close qualifiers using Valve's ranking. It seems it will apply for the Shanghai Major, so no open qualifiers. This is crazy. And here are the pictures posted on screen. The red means it was removed, the green means it was added. And here it goes for the second one as well. So yes, this is crazy, but I actually don't think it's as crazy as most people are making it out to be. Since the majority of these open qualifiers, one, a lot of those teams actually don't get pushed through. Maybe some reasons behind the scenes why Valve did this. I'm not 100% sure, but if I had to guess, it's most likely due to all the cheating controversy that we've seen over the years. And this isn't new by any means. This started all the way back back in PGL 2017 from as long as I can remember, where if it's a whole team or just one specific player on a team, if they've had a previous VAC ban on a previous Steam account that they've now hidden, or if they turned out to be actual cheaters, or they get disqualified online and it messes up a bunch of results, messes up the schedules for a lot of these streams, but mainly the major qualifiers. And this happened most recently with the qualifier to go to the Copenhagen major just a few months ago. So if I had to guess, this was most likely Valve's reasoning on top of a few other things. And of course, the controversy. Where is it? What do I mean? Some say this is Perfect World's decision, and yes, it was, and it seems like it is, but Valve still has to sign off for it, as it is their event and they're funding it on their dime on their own game. So they must have and had to have agreed to the qualifier change, but why? And we already mentioned the reasoning. Let me know what you guys think about this change down below for the qualifiers for the major. I'm wondering if this is going to be every major going forward, or if this is only going to be in China for CS Perfect World. And also my question as well, will all North American and European players, and any and everyone that isn't from China, doesn't play from there specifically, will everyone be playing on CS Perfect World, and not the base version of Counter-Strike 2? Now stepping away from the major talk for CS2, I now want to quickly discuss Valve upcoming title, that being Deadlock. And some new news just came in that Valve just got a brand new trademark, that being for Deadlock. Now, Gabe Follower put out a tweet about this yesterday, and you can even check it out for yourself. And you guys are probably wondering, what does this mean? Is the game coming soon? And my answer to all this is we're not sure. What we do know is the game is still in alpha, so I wouldn't hold your breath for a full release anytime soon. But for an example, Valve made a brand new trademark for Counter-Strike a year before CS2 was released. So maybe we're a full year away from reveal, or maybe soon to be a limited test or beta. And on top of all the randomness in today's video, I also want to throw in a tweet from Osney CS. He says Valve is working on their own clip recording feature with timeline markers. According to the Xpot, it will work similar to screenshots so clips can be shared to Steam. And he just mentioned that this will soon be added to CS2, so you can make your own highlight reels, clips, and record your own gameplay without having to have a third-party service open such as OBS. Now, if it'll be any good and actually work, I'm not sure, but I think it's a cool new feature to add to Counter-Strike 2. Lastly for today's video is new news regarding Counter-Strike 2 bans. It seems Valve is doing any and everything aside from banning real cheaters. Recently, it's been case farmers, as we discussed in yesterday's video and a few weeks before, and in the last year, yes, some cheaters 
for banned but also traitors from supplying Gambus sites and dozens of traitors in the process. With all the talk and updates for Overwatch and VAC, I'm really starting to wonder if Valve will ever release VAC 2. Now, what do you guys think down below of all of that? What was your favorite part? What are you most worried about? Me, in my eyes, I see Valve working on a hundred different things all at once. Not that we haven't in the past, but this time we can actually see it through data mines, leaks, rumors, and it just feels to be a little bit different. Did you guys enjoy this format of video? Sort of a remap of my old CSGO news, such as how we did back in the day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay positive, stay sexy. I'm out, guys. Peace.